is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about the halloween franchise in this video here today here today more specifically halloween 4 and a potential legacy sequel that has once again been brought up by none other than the person behind uh halloween 4 the return of michael myers and that person of course was dwight little who directed the film now this is from an interview he had recently with bloody disgusting about a day or two ago at this point where he was asked about the upcoming Halloween show, and he's also revealed in this same interview, he's apparently pitched a sequel to Halloween 4. Now, who did he pitch it to? I would have to assume it had to have been Malika Cod, those involved with the rights. But starting off here with this first question, it says, with the recent news that Halloween might be getting into a TV series, or might be getting a TV series, would that be something you'd be up to doing? Dwight Little said, oh, definitely. I know Malika Cod is guiding that, but it's really Universal's play. I mean, I think they're really... I would love to do it with Alan McEl McElroy, the person who wrote Halloween 4. I believe they also wrote Wrong Turn too. He goes on to say, of course, we have to be invited and I'm sure they have people that they're interested in. So we'll see how it plays out. But sure, I would jump into that in a minute if we could figure out how to make that work. So he's letting it be known. He's open to getting involved with the Halloween franchise once again, if asked to be part of this upcoming cinematic universe that they apparently want to do that could spawn a tv show and several new films then he gets asked considering the greater appreciation for halloween 4 many fans are clamoring for more rachel and jamie particularly a direct sequel to your film if that would ever come into the conversation would you do it he goes on to say not only would i do it i've actually pitched it he says, you keep Rachel alive and follow through with Jamie and Rachel. Ellie Cornell is alive and well and living on the East Coast. And I just worked with Danielle Harris and she's a doll. I think that's a great movie in terms of bringing both of those two characters back. He said, I think they should call it Halloween 4 Part 2. Obviously, that's just Halloween 5, but I'll let him have what he has to say <laughs> in regards to calling it Halloween 4 Part 2. I wouldn't call it that. And I'm sure a lot of you would prefer it be just called Halloween 5 or Halloween some new insert subtitle. He goes, goes on to say just to be upfront about it and say what it is because that's what it would be Halloween 4 Part 2. In my own opinion more than a TV show I think that would get a lot of attention. Now I will say this I do not think he is correct about this getting a lot of attention in terms of the general audience appeal. I think it could become very confusing if you suddenly have a sequel that's being birthed out of a film that at this point came out over 30 years ago i believe and it's a sequel involving characters that a lot of people maybe don't know about and if you're trying to appeal to the general audience it could be very unattractive now i will also say this a lot of the general audience if we want to be truthful about it probably more or less would be down to to go out and watch it if this movie is just marketed well and if the trailer tv spots and all the details about it are hyped up to be very good things maybe we end up in a top gun maverick type of scenario with what we get in a halloween 5 a proper halloween 5 if you will or a halloween 4 legacy sequel that has danielle harris back and uh her her foster sister rachel if they have both of them back in the fold i've also talked about how there is this pitch i have already had shared with me regarding jamie returning to haddonfield she's been rehabilitated it's some 40 or so years later 30 plus maybe michael has been down in that shaft after the shooting this whole entire time there's some origins that will be revealed related to his childhood a childhood friend something about proximity limits of the town and how that works into michael and this deal he apparently made when he was a very young boy i've talked about that in another separate video but you could of course end up in again like i stated a top gun maverick scenario if it is marketed well if the trailers look enticing enough and if people genuinely because of the footage that is out there and because of the way it is marketed they don't mind going out of their way to watch halloween 4 and then jumping into a legacy sequel to said fourth film you could end up in a top gun maverick scenario which is a movie that came out several decades after that original and it did just fine it made over a billion dollars i'm not saying that would be the case for a halloween 4 legacy sequel but you know it's not out of the realm of possibility when you have maverick coming out doing numbers like that but you guys can let me know what you think about the director's comments about what he would want to do in this pitch he's apparently made i don't again see 
a Halloween 4 Legacy sequel happening. I just know that a lot of people like myself would prefer that be the thing that does happen next. Nine out of 10, I just don't see it happening because again, there's this alleged tension that could have been resolved by now, but allegedly there was some tension at one point between Malik and Danielle where he did not like her, or did not that he didn't like her, but was very upset about how Danielle made the Halloween Ends premiere about herself, how that was Jamie's night and she shouldn't have done that. And that's kind of turned him off to the whole idea of a Halloween 4 Legacy sequel because he thinks it's annoying, etc. I don't think we will get one, but if it does happen, I would love for it to happen. I would love to see Danielle Harris back as Jamie Lloyd, and I would love to see her foster sister, Rachel, alive and well with Ellie Cornell back in the role and do something proper with Rachel, more, more or less. Definitely Rachel. I feel as though when we talk about the Halloween 4 Legacy sequel, a lot of people's priorities is get Rachel right. We're not even worried about you getting Jamie right. Rachel was just done so dirty in Halloween 5. We just need you to get Rachel right. And Rachel won't even be the main attraction. It's, we obviously know it's going to be Jamie. We just have more trust that Jamie will be handled well. But after what Rachel had to deal with in Halloween 5, that's why so many people say just get Rachel right. That was, that's going to be the priority for a lot of people if this were to ever happen. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Would you like to see Dwight Little involved with the Halloween franchise going forward? Why or why not? Uh, let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.